insecurity situation in Nigeria is getting worse every minute. Hey, nobody is longer safe. Nigerians are now sleeping with one eye closed, and the roads too, they are no longer safe. Unknown gunmen on Monday opened fire on a convoy of Senator Clifford Odia, an APC Edo Central senator, injuring three police officers. Hmm. The lawmaker was returning to Abuna from his own town in Edo when he was attacked along the Okene Lokoja Road in Kogi State. Speaking to newsmen on Wednesday in Abuja, Odia said the gunmen rained bullets on his convoy. The People's Democratic Party PDP senator called on the federal government to take urgent measures to secure lives and property across the country. I am seriously traumatized by the experience, the senator Odio said. We were coming from a those state somewhere between Okene and Lokoja when we met these suspected bandits. They opened fire on my convoy. The gallant policemen had to immediately return fire. The officer security vehicle behind had to immediately join them and they were able to repel the suspected bandit. During the exchange, three of the policemen sustained gun wounds. One of them was critically injured. We had to immediately rush him to the Federal Medical Center in Lokeja, Kogit State. They did their best and we were able to stabilize them. I do immediately put a call across the Federal Medical Center in Abuja to be on a standby. One of the policemen had a bullet lodged close to his liver. Oh my God. We met another setback around Abuja. There was traffic because of the evidence and because we had to save the lives of the wounded policemen, we decided to make move. They opened fire on us. Some vigilantes had to join the policemen and they were chased into the bush. That was how I survived, survived that attack. If you see all my vehicles, you will see how the bullets damaged them. <laughs> You see, that is it now. You know, say when it happened to a poor man, nobody go hear this long story. These are the things that are happening to people every day by day. You get it's happening to a poor man out there every day by day. All these things that be happening now, now fought now, now they cause some. You get you people, you don't care about the masses, you don't care. You guys are just selfish. See that poor policeman now. Now they, now, now, now they suffer this one. May God help him more. Make him not go die. Because these people, they are not worth dying for. That is just the gospel truth. They are not worth dying for. Somebody said, they say, I like that when I never see anything for this country. Okay, let me take it. I like that when I never see anything for this country. Nigeria, all the politicians will suffer death penalty. Not only politicians, but all the bad eggs in government should be dealt with. <laughs> this is just the beginning. No? Thank God you did not die. You people are the problem of this country. But gradually, you people sorry, are going to pay all the damages you are passing through. Fellow Nigerians, these are real incidents. They are not drills. Make plans for your safety. Please, more attacks and killings on on Southeast politicians, though most of them deserve to die a miserable death. Nigerians are reacting. Hmm. It goes shock you. This is the beginning. You people reshaped this country. You people refused. The breeze is blowing towards our politicians. God is not a man. Hmm. When Nigerians were shouting, you guys have to do something about this insecurity situation. No, you refused. You don't want to do anything about it because when our fish say, when our people know they go farm, not when our people they go keep for farm. 
not be in on our wives then go rape for fun that is that that poor man there you get that the same poor man there when they, they kill every day now then they still they suffer all these things but they've forgotten that it can be anybody all these things that is happening that are happening right now it can be anybody because the way the whole thing is going these people have just declared war on nigerians that is it they've declared war on nigerians whether you're a politician or whatever you are lucky today that you survive today but what of tomorrow that is it you know they cry now nah, waiting happen to you the one when nigerians they they cry every day they do and i don't want to do anything the dog you guys romanced with yesterday the dogs you romance with yesterday they are the same dog that are biting us today waiting person won't talk i bet make we go back here waiting nigerians they talk for this matter Okay, someone said that if only those bandits will stop injuring the poor policemen and be more tactical when dealing with all these stupid politicians, I will be glad. Every time on our police escort go be on our scapegoat, they miss target, the breeze is blowing everybody now on our, on our con they fear. <laughs> I just wish more senators, governors and others will be attacked regardless of their security i believe that the only way they will understand what nigerians are going through people are dying and all they do condemn oh god of heaven and the heads direct the minds of bandits herdsmen boko haram and other gunmen to attack our leaders instead of the poor masses out there i think this should be my prayers for now it's just a pity that these police people they are, they are the they are the one you know being the uh, the scapegoat and all that anyway may the will of god be done i'm going to drop it here let's hear from you kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you